Okay, let's continue. Uh, the other part of the short story in the section one. Please go to the text, page two. Uh, the paragraph about the last, this one. Now in this paragraph, uh, we hear the Nightingale's thoughts. Nightingale's comments, please note down. This paragraph depicts the Nightingale's comments on love. That is ideal love. <clears throat> ideal love, perfect love of human heart. perfect love of human heart that is very difficult to find. This kind of love is very difficult to find because this love is, write down, unconditional. This love is full of sacrifices, unconditional, full of sacrifices, unselfish, unselfish, Valuable, invaluable, I-N-V-A-L-U-A-B-L-E, invaluable, and everlasting, permanent, not changing. They are the qualities of this law, this ideal law. What are the qualities? Please note down by the side of your uh, paragraph, unconditional, this love is unconditional, full of sacrifices, invaluable, invaluable, unselfish, 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 even selfless, selfless, and everlasting. Everlasting, living forever. Everlasting means living forever. Right. This is a kind, this is the kind of love that the nightingale speaks about. This is nightingale's interpretation about love. Nightingale's interpretation. For nightingale, for the nightingale. Now is like this. Now let's listen to her thoughts. Here indeed. Now she is still looking at the young student. The young student is right below. He is under the home of tree. The nightingales, the nightingale is in the home of tree. She can see the young student under the tree. Now by looking at the boy, she thinks, really, here in this a true lover. Ah. The nightingale thinks the young student is a true lover. She comes to that decision. Hmm. We discuss the qualities of a true lover. What are the qualities of a true lover? Send me one quality. One aspect of true lover, physical aspects, not internal. What physical aspects does a true lover have? Yes, if you remember the story. Hmm. We discussed a, a few, I think four, physical aspects of a true lover. Send me one or tell me one. Yes. Ah, one answer came. Let's see. Ah, Gihara. <laughs> Very good. Dark hair, Oshada. Ivory colored face, red lips. Ah. Did you check? Ah, by looking at yourself, whether you are a true lover or not. Hmm. 
I think you cannot be a true lover because uh, you lack one of these things, at least one. Adugano ekakari adueno. Atareng ekakari. Ivory colored face, red lips, dark hair, sorrowful forehead. They are the four qualities. Four qualities. Now the nightingale, by looking at the young student, thinks this boy is a true lover. Underline, what I have since of he suffers, what is joy to me, to him is pain. Now here, the nightingale thinks, what I sing of, what does she sing of? She sings of true love. Now true love is uh, joy to me, what I sing of. And true love is joy to me, but for this student it's a suffering. Pain. To him is a pain. Now, true love is a joy to me, happiness to me, but for the student, it's a pain. Now, the nightingale thinks true love has two sided, is two sided. True love has two sides. One side is happiness. The other side is pain, sorrow, like a coin. Now, coin has a two side, right? Likewise, this true love also is two sided. It has two aspects. One aspect is happiness. The other aspect is pain. Now, this is Nightingale's interpretation of true love. Mm. It brings about joy as well as it brings about pain. Underline. She further comments, surely love is a wonderful thing. Underline. It's more precious than emeralds and dearer than fine opals. Uh, underline this part also. Now she comments, true love is the most valuable thing in this world. Valuable than emeralds. Emerald means gems. Opals means gems. Gems. They are very precious stones, precious gems, very valuable gems, very rare. Now Nightingale, the Nightingale says, True love is more valuable than these emeralds and opals. Right? There is no valuable, more valuable thing than true love. Even pearls and pomegranates, pearls, pearls means also gems from the sea, and pomegranates. Um, again, it means a kind of fruit. Delunkian. Kind of fruit. It is a divine fruit. That is the idea here. Pomegranate is a divine fruit. Only gods eat it. It grows in heaven. Now the nightingale says, no pomegranates or no pearls can be shared or exchange for true love. No, it is set forth in the marketplace. Ah, true love cannot be sold or bought from the marketplace. You cannot buy true love in kilos or in cans or in grams or in bunches. You cannot buy. What is the idea here? True love is immaterial, not material. But it has value, immense value. Underline, it may not be purchased of the merchants, nor cannot be weighed out in the balance for gold. Ah, 
you see now the nightingale says true love is the most valuable thing in this world most valuable thing in this world. right you cannot buy it you cannot exchange it for other valuable things because its value is so immense you cannot weigh it on a scale balance even for gold true love is much more valuable than gold now what does the nightingale says true love is the most valuable thing no other valuable material things can be exchanged for true love okay write down next paragraph next paragraph the most important the most important discussion the most important discussion in this section of the short story in this section of the short story is the nightingales is the nightingales interpretation is the nightingales interpretation is the nightingale's interpretation about true love about true love about true love full stop by looking at the young student by looking at the young student she presents her own opinions her own opinion about her own opinion about true love her own opinion about true love full stop she mentions that she mentions that true love true love has two sides s i d e s true love has two sides that is
टू साइड ऑफ एस्पेक्ट दैट इज जॉय एंड पेन जॉय एंड पेन joy and pain true love may bring about true love may bring about both happiness and unhappiness both happiness and unhappiness to the lovers to the lovers the nightingale the nightingale the nightingale enjoys happiness the nightingale enjoys happiness by thinking of true love and the young student suffers from pain having lost true love having lost true love please caught what i sing of he suffers what is joy to me to him is pain what i sing of he suffers what is joy to me to him is pain to him is pain <clears throat> go on right in according to the nightingale's interpretation 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 true love is true love is the most the most precious p r e c i o u s the most precious and in the end invaluable i n v a l u a b l e invaluable thing most precious and invaluable thing in this world in this world
in this world and all other valuable b a l u a b l e all other valuable material objects material m a t e r i a l all other valuable material objects have no value have no value compared with compared with true love compared with true love please caught it is more precious than emeralds and dearer than fine opals it is more precious than emeralds and dearer than fine opals dearer than fine opals go on write in go on write in she further mentions she further mentions the immense value of true love the immense i double m e n s e great immense means great i double m e n s e the immense value of true love in the following way in the following way please caught it may not be purchase of merchants no can it be weighed out in the balance for gold it may not be purchase of the merchants no can it be weighed out in the balance for gold go right in as she mentions as she mentions true love has as she mentions true love has and in an uncomparable u n c o m p a r a b l e uncomparable 
immaterial immaterial i double m a t e r i a l uncomparable immaterial value uncomparable immaterial value uncomparable immaterial value which cannot be exchanged which cannot be exchanged which cannot be exchanged even for gold even for gold and which cannot be bought which cannot be bought even from market even from market offer in money offer in money full stop the nightingales the nightingales interpretation the nightingales interpretation on love the nightingale's interpretation on love is ideal is ideal i d e a l ideal is ideal and not realistic not realistic r e a l i s t i c realistic not realistic according to her according to her low is the most low is the most sacred noble and valuable emotion of the heart emotion of the heart emotion of the heart
her interpretation on love her interpretation on love can be accepted can be accepted as true but it is far from it is far from reality it is far from reality it is far from reality right that is the end of uh, the nightingale's interpretation on love we will continue the rest of the part 1 now again we hear the students thoughts 20 last paragraph page 20 the musician will sit in their gallery gallery means their audience or balcony said the young student and play on their string instruments the string instruments means musical instruments like violins guitar string instruments and my love my love refers that is the metonymy for the girl will dance to the sound of a harp harp is a musical instrument like a violin and the violin she will dance so lightly now this girl is a talented dancer so lightly that her feet will not touch the floor her feet will not touch the floor ah she is very talented dancer very beautiful she is not a chubby fat girl but a slim girl hmm. therefore she floats in the sky in the air when she dances and the courtiers courtiers means admirers courtiers young other young boys in their gay dresses in their beautiful clothes will throng round her gather round her get around her to see her dance but with me she will not dance she will not dance still you will hear that sorrowful tone for oh, i have no red rose because i have no red rose to give her and he flung himself down on the grass and buried his hid his face in his hands and wept in his hands and wept now the student begins to cry again he has no alternative he has no options only thing he does is to cry only thing he does is to cry he does not try any other alternatives at least a paper red rose no that never that idea never occurs to him because he is not practical the student is not practical like you you have knowledge but not practical you learn science but you do not know how to use them practically theories of science but in the book you have great uh theories in the mind you have theories uh you know maths but you know you do not know how to use them in practical situations right now uh, that is the end of this uh, section 1 please draw a line here draw a line here and we are going to begin uh, the second part of the short story in our next discussion 
the second part of the short story in our next discussion. Draw a line here. That is the end of the first section. That is the end of the first section.